Jane and Steve show. Step aside and let the big kids play. Wrong dog in your ears. Sweet kids. Okay, obviously, for the first time in uh, Italian history, there are genuine injuries in Italy. Are you talking about, like, football? No. Okay. There have never been genuine injuries in Italian football, ever. There hasn't been genuine injuries in English football ever, either. (laughs) Absolutely not, but at, least we, for that. but at least we can confirm the injuries in Italy are actually real. Because Italy got all shook up. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. But this is the Jane and Steve show, so we're not going to concentrate on that because that would just be depressing and we prefer to keep our head in the sand. Everything's rosy. Go buy a new iPhone. Okay, so um, <clears throat> Jane actually found um, this this little article <laughs> that we're going to talk about, and and w- when I was reading it, I was like, "This is crazy! Why? Why are the the article? It, apparently, the study has shown that men completely tune out of any conversation a woman is a woman is talking about after about six minutes. Yes, and it actually gave the top topics of said conversations women uh that guys tune out from yeah i mean you're like both Mm -hmm. because you tune out but you also do the same thing like on a lot of these so you're like kind of guy and girl oh we got some people that's coming in periscope room they're going i need advice okay so we're here here. i'm a professional relationship expert (laughs) no he's not that listen to a word he's i am I know everything there is about relationships because I've run a porn site. Okay, John, what advice do you need? Yeah, just John lay it nine. On. John nine. Mm-hmm. He, he takes like a shirtless Marry a bathroom ten. selfie. He takes bathroom selfies. Yeah, shirtless okay. bathroom selfies. Shirtless ones, uh-huh. like Impressive. in his underwear. It looks like from the okay. photo. Okay, I, mm-hmm. I can already tell what your dating life is like. <laughs> well, the, the advice needed might not be <clears throat> due to like dating or. I'll something give you any like advice that. you want. Okay. And and I will be and I promise, hand on heart, I will do it genuinely. There will be perhaps a little bit of comedy mixed in, but, but pretty much it will be <laughs> He's honest. Probably being really serious. That's the scary part. Mm-hmm. That is the really scary it is. part. Um, okay, so like what I was reading, I was actually really surprised. It says the average guy tunes out after six minutes of conversation, like with a girl, what? right? The average guy tunes out. Yes, of oh course. Fucking damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna clap myself for that one. Oh, you dear. can ask that, John. It's, oh. He says it's a slight sex issue. That's fine. You can. You, can uh, ask you don't want me to answer it, but no, ask it, and I will don't. give you honest opinions. But you know, this is like you know, just like a whole list of like the top ten things that make a guy stop listening. Yes, you actually do most of them. <clears throat> What do you mean? Oh, what? Like, like I tune out if you start you, talking about these? No. Oh. You do this. He'll talk about those things. Yeah, you talk about these things like you're the girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's why I'm really surprising. Um, uh, uh, John says, I can't find girls that accept the girth of my penis. <laughs> well, as in you're wider than you should be? I don't or, think he can give you advice thinner. on this. <laughs> oh, I can. Oh, no, no. No, never. I don't think he can relate with you. I I just okay. I don't know at what point you think relationship experts ever can relate to anything they talk about. Okay, well then clearly you're trying to date fairly decent women. What you need to do is is find. Uh, What do you need? That That bit. Uh That's a good point. There we go. Um, 
what what you need to do is find very very slaggy women. Really. Yeah. Find ones that have probably had like half a dozen vaginal births. Uh, find women that are into fisting. Over thirty five years old. Yeah. Yeah. I just basically you need slack women. I mean, it's quite easy. And then she'll be like, ah, "Is that all you got, honey? You might want to put a fist around that one as well." That's gross. Let's get some feels on the side. That's there gross. you go. You're welcome. That was noisy. It was. Do you need me to drop your mic <laughs> down while you while you suck whatever that yeah, was? Yeah, I know. You were I know. I was. Uh, I was getting to it, and then you know, Steve had to go somewhere else for the Whoa. conversation. Nothing, nothing at all. Um, Get to anything. Okay, so the top ten topics that make guys tune out. Right. And and I do think a lot of girls are are legitimately guilty of doing this. Right. You know. And I, girls, uh-huh. girls. Get in this room now. Come sit on my lap. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you how to counteract this. John just joined us. Um, hey, John. Uh, the, the one with the girth issue. Hey, John. The Coke can issue. I know he joined us. He asked oh, a fucking question. Oh, he just question. joined back in. Yeah, I know. Oh. I know. I know. I had to restart it because it, like, paused. Oh, did it? Oh, um, okay. So anyways, here's the top ten topics that make guys tune out. I want your, I want your yeah, thoughts yeah, on it. I want yeah. everybody's thoughts on this. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, dieting and nutrition. Oh, you're going that way. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like really guilty on that. What? Like being a girl. You always talk about like what you're I know. I have fat and... days. And I can't stand <laughs> I've actually quit drinking alcohol because it, it's too fattening. What? Well, as, of, as of this morning? Yesterday. I haven't. Uh, no. As of yesterday. As of yesterday. Excuse me. I haven't drunk any alcohol in days. <laughs> I haven't. Sorry, that was a funny comment. I haven't had alcohol in days. It was like two days ago at what, like eleven thirty? <sighs> no. No, that was last week. That was on that was on Saturday afternoon. You're like, Are we going anywhere? Cool. Oh yeah, that's it right. It was eleven yeah. fifteen. I know. Okay. I know, I know so, and then I wait. Not at night. Not eleven fifteen at night. And no. Oh god no. No. Why would I drink late at night? I just don't want to drink then. Drink in the morning when it should stop so, drinking the whole day. So women talk about dieting and nutrition, and that like really pisses guys off. And I totally get it. But why does it? Why? What is the thing that a girl could do? Because gu- okay. that would make it better. Right? Okay, girls. So curiosity. you understand, right? We've already clocked you on this. Uh-huh. We've already clocked you when you just go, "Oh my god, look, I'm just so fat," and all you're doing is fishing for compliments. We figured that one out. Oh my god, you do that all the time. Yeah, he does. <laughs> you do it like almost every day. It's like I just don't look good in this anymore. It's just yes, I, I don't I don't know. It's just like oh, it's like I want to eat nice things, and when I do, I just look horrible and fat. I look like I look like Slimer from Ghostbusters. See. Is the guy wearing the Ghostbusters t-shirt. Uh-huh. But, you know, whatever. And as a guy, we've clocked it. We're like, you're just fishing. Because all yeah. you want us to go is go, honey, you look absolutely beautiful. You look gorgeous. You're perfect the way you are. And that's, that's what I have to tell you every other day. Yeah. I know, right? But that's, that's the thing. <laughs> uh, another topic is talking about people that he's never met. Right. right. Girls, I can tell you how to turn this around. Okay. For starters, no no guy wants to be wants to feel left out. Girls, right. this is how you turn it around. Oh, you know Amber at work, and just to let you know, she's really hot. I mean, seriously. If I, <laughs> I mean, it's like if we <laughs> ever got if help. we ever got into a threesome situation, I'd like Amber. The guy will have your undivided attention for the remainder of that conversation, no matter how much you talk about knitting patterns or anything else you want to talk about. <laughs> as long as it's about you and 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 Amber getting it on at some point, the guy will listen. Yes, See? Marcus, it is the same Ghostbuster shirt from yesterday. I didn't. Fuck off. <laughs> yes, I was just answering his question. I wasn't question. wearing it yesterday. I think you wore it yesterday down to the thingy. Yeah. Yeah. That's when I changed. Right. So you wore it yesterday. He's asking if you're wearing the same shirt you wore yesterday. No. I, 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 I was wearing a shirt yesterday. God damn it. <laughs> got new people. <laughs> Who's this I, guy? Uh, what is this? It's like fucking a tax <laughs> DJ. He has two of the same exact <laughs> shirts and he wore them back to back. It's okay. I do it sometimes too. Okay, what she had for lunch? Again. Nobody again, needs to know that. Or, or, or you're, you know, because, no, because this is how it goes. It goes, 
oh, today I had salad and then I had this dressing on and now I've just like, oh, why did I put the dressing on? Because now I'm just going to get fat again. And it's like, I can't help myself. I'm at work and it's like, everybody's eating Mars bars and I'm trying to do something. <laughs> and that's what it is. And that's what we hear. So you need to turn it around. Girls, what you need to do is just go, I had so-and-so tonight and all I could, or, or uh, at lunchtime, and all I could think about was actually just rubbing that over Amber's breast. <laughs> See? You have something for Amber, huh? No, I'm just like, well, Amber, Amber's clearly like a, a good slut in the office. So, you know, she's probably up for that. <laughs> you see? Instantly, the guy will be interested again. Bring it back around to sex. Okay. If you want a guy to listen, talk about, well, not really talk about sex. Actually, just talk about bisexual sex with Amber at the office. Even if you don't have an Amber at the office, just invent one. Every office Amber's should have Amber's at the one. office. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, when she talks about her coworkers and other issues, other like, you know, work-related issues. Right. You don't like that either. Guys, in well, general no, because, don't like that. Okay. So, you know, it's like we've obviously got our own stuff going on. And, you mm-hmm. know, you come home and you go, oh, my God. It was like, like Mike at the office. He was just like, <laughs> we were in this meeting. And all he was going on about is, is how awesome his cells were. And it was just, oh, God, it was just so annoying. <laughs> Magnum's just like, at that point, I just ignore them. And Marcus went rose at the office. There so you go. <laughs> apparently you go. he and hears so, a bunch of shit about rose. Right. And so the key, ladies, <laughs> is to turn around and go, well, so Mike was just really annoying at the office, but then I noticed Amber, and all I could do is just picture her crawling over the the the, the conference table, <laughs> naked, <laughs> with my lunch on her back. Instantly, guys interested again. It's really simple, big, ladies. Bigby says that uh, women's problems seem way more dramatic than men's. Well, it's because they have nothing going on in their life. True. So they make things dramatic. I mean, yeah. realistically, if you take all... And I'm sorry, women. You're going to hate me for this. But if you take, basically... If you write down what your crisis was for that day... Oh, my God. It was like... It was like... Uh, uh, Jessica wrote this horrible post on Facebook. I, okay, so somebody wrote something on Facebook. It was words. Why is this drama? Just... You know how you solve that? Log out. There you go. Done. Messy <laughs> Magnum says his like method of like dealing with it is, you know, you know, pay attention at the beginning, like actually mm-hmm. listen mm-hmm. and then just pretend to listen afterwards. Yeah, but after you see, yeah, but, but women get smart with that after a while and they start asking you like odd questions. Like But women are smart to it. You know, because from the they're like So I was honest. really having this bad day at work and it was and, and then what you start hearing is and you're like, Oh yeah, oh uh, and then she'll go and then I stuck a pen up my ass. And you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? See, you'll yeah, get caught exactly out that way. It. You'll get caught out Somebody's that way. Somebody's like, like you're pretending to listen to this dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> Again, solve the problem. Leave. So so what what would be the thing that like annoys guys the most? I'm curious. I'm curious. I oh, think compliment some of these... fishing. Compliment fishing. Yeah, you definitely. Think it's just that. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. that bugs the hell out of me, that does. <laughs> Magnum says, listen you to do every it third yourself. sentence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, why would that have a bearing? That annoys me just because I do it all the time. I'm, 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 I'm a hypocrite. I don't know why I have to keep repeating myself. <laughs> Big B wasn't listening to a thing you said either. So, Who's that? um, and most people on Periscope were just like, yep, didn't hear a thing. Oh my god, wow, you should all sell tickets to your fucking comedy show. Oh my god, you're so funny. Megan says he hates when like women try to make you feel guilty. I have never had that happen. Oh yeah, I have. Oh yeah. Have yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, the the popular one, my ex-wife loved this one. You're the reason I am the way I am. <laughs> my response, nope, you're just a cunt. <laughs> yes, that's Steve speaking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> People aren't listening to you. So it's, I guess it's like you're a woman. <sighs> you're having a cinnamon a cinnamon's day. Uh. Oh, that was a coffee burp. Oh, oh I got extra disgusting. caffeine then. Just re swallowed. That is disgusting. Oh, dear. Either. What? <laughs> Nothing. So, you know. You know, for for all this complaining of like guys don't listen, just just make it about sex. No, I guess stuff isn't around because Marcus just said stuff always tries to turn shit around on me. <clears throat> Women, can, nobody can win at me in an argument. I'm way too smart. I got trained by my dad. 
My dad's fucking awesome <laughs> at arguing. So it's like when women try and turn shit around on me. Really? Yeah, the biggest problem, right? And all of you guys fall for this, right? Women are very, very good at subject jumping. And that's why you lose arguments. Because what happens is that they won't drill you down on one point. They'll jump. The, mo- the moment they see they're losing, they'll but jump to another like subject. A regular the argument key, is yeah. not... It's usually just like over something really stupid. So they're not sitting there trying to drill you down. Whether it's a guy or a girl doing it, they're not no, trying to drill you down. No, but they'll jump around because the they'll rem- they'll suddenly remember something else. They'll just go, "Oh yeah," and there was also this one time, and then then there was this other. And you know, you see, I'm going to give you an example. Do you remember when we were at so and so? And they jump around, and that is a, that is a classic way to try and confuse the person, the argue no, the arguer, no, the argue Arguer would be Did the we- woman, yeah, and okay. the argue would be the guy. <laughs> see. The key to do it is to keep him on point. Keep him on subject. Oh, you're like a shitty, like... Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Arguer. No, I'm not. I'm fucking well, awesome. I know, but it's like shitty for whoever has to argue with you. Yeah, Definitely. it is. It's a bad day. Because I won't let them off the subject. No, see, Magnum's just like, you know, I just... <clears throat> it just doesn't even matter. Well, I know. I mean, <laughs> ultimately, that's my biggest problem. Yeah. Is, is I just... I, I don't care. Because, see, you stay calm. He stays calm as well. And mm. he said and that kind of just pisses them off oh, more. And that's yeah. exactly what you do when you uh-huh. argue, whether yeah. it's with a girl or not. Yeah. Oh, my hardest thing is, is trying not to laugh. Because it's like the more angry... Because generally, it's like... when it, See, whenever I see a, 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 like a subject of an argument, I mm. actually see it more from a distance. So I kind of see the bigger picture. So I actually see the funny side of whatever somebody's... Are, angry about straight away Mm -hmm. so then i find it funny so then i spend the rest of the conversation trying not to laugh i don't mean to i can't help being clever like that last time i just came in the room and said they haven't had a woman in two years there's always a hot cosby (laughs) just saying dude if you haven't had a woman for two years seriously just go out and get a hooker just honestly, go spend... Look, you could spend two, three hundred bucks, which, let's face it, is what you'd spend at a club on a weekend, right? See? And just go get one. See? That's all you have to do. You can just do something simple like that. So, changing subject really quickly. Yes. Now, yesterday's show, you did all the conspiracy stuff. You came stuff. into a chick's periscope thinking you were going to see a chick and you see me instead. Hi. So, you get <laughs> me now. I know. Everybody's going to leave now. Um... But you, you you started, like, the whole thing yesterday with, like, the whole conspiracy. Hey, DC. What? You started the whole thing I'm yesterday trying with, to read. Like, this is really hard. You hey. guys type really fast, and I'm dyslexic. I, I, I know. Think I, about I'm, it. I'm, I'm just... And, and I also can't see very well. Say hi to <laughs> French. Who are you listening? Would you dare? Hi, French. Just just, just don't, don't read anything. Okay. I was talking to you. What? Hello. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hello. Ethan, can you do this one, please? Yes. <laughs> um, I can do this. Okay. That's fine. I can do don't this. I don't, I don't need to. What I was going to say is that have you thought about actually doing like your conspiracy thing? Stop reading it. I like reading. It's really I am cool. So this is sorry. No, this you is, have to deal with this. Okay. Guys. If you're ADD, the best thing you can ever have, right, is a Periscope account because it just keeps you going. Sex, can we just masturbate? Yeah, sure. You want me to do it now? Nobody wants that. Can you prove you're not drunk touch your nose up with one finger? <laughs> there you go. Wow. I'll complete... Uh, sorry. Yes. What were you saying? Boobs? Hey. <laughs> there you go. Oh, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Everybody's leaving. No, it was Bob's and that was from Magnum. That was a special... Oh, Magnum. Special, special request see, from Magnum. See, we give you these names, so I only ever mm-hmm. hear you as Magnum. I actually don't know what your true... Uh, somebody says, my is. wife is very abusive. Um, oh, I had an abusive wife. She beats me for no reason. What can I do? Leave, you fucking pussy. <laughs> Leave. That's what I did. I asked everybody kind of like what the thing is. No, seriously. You I, I, if, you, you know, if you're with somebody... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you're with somebody who's abusive, you need to just leave. You're not going to fit. You won't fix that person. That person is already broken. You need to discard them like a used tampon. They're a bloody mess. Just flush them. Done. <laughs> Seriously, that's your Seriously, comment. yes, absolutely, one hundred percent. Do not stay. the The moment the moment a relationship goes into anything physical like that, mm-hmm. you just, as you Americans say, you get the hell out of dodge. 
Unless it's a challenger. Okay. Hellcat. And then so, stay in it because it's kind of cool. Somebody said you look like a special needs kid in that Ghostbusters t-shirt. <laughs> I am a special needs kid. I take um, that quite offensively. Now, the guy that gets, like, abused by his woman, says she, he says she has a dog that threatens me. Leave! What the... Oh, seriously, what are you doing still there? <laughs> Dude, I stayed with a woman who was a total asshole for nearly 10 years. And do you know what it did for Not me? me. Absolutely nothing. Me. Absolutely nothing. We've actually got kids together. And I got to the stage, in the end, I was like, you know what? Because she was fine with the kids. She was never horrible to the kids. But with me and her, we were just bu- button pushers. Mm-hmm. And, of course, I just, like, would laugh. So, seriously, you need to just leave. There is no point. You I are don't not, understand why people stay in, like, relationships. Because but, I mean, people I are worried. Of- Honestly, I know what it is. You're worried you're going to be alone. And you're worried that you're not going to find somebody else. I promise you. I l- yes, I just love you. Uh, Lily Roxas, can you please not make poke fun of people with special needs i'm autistic so am i no not dyslexic oh (laughs) she's got autism i why 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 can you why can you not who are we not allowed to poke fun at and i wasn't poking fun at anybody I, why uh, you see this no no actually i will not listen to that for the very simple reason is the moment you try and actually if you don't like something because you know, it's Jesus Christ. People make fun of me being British all the time. Do I just go like, oh, don't poke fun at me because I'm British? <laughs> no. You know what? I just take it. Who cares? It's just words. Somebody says I got really bad teeth. Somebody says I'm fat. Somebody says I'm bald. Who cares? I can't do anything about my teeth. Well, technically, I guess I could. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I can't do anything about being British. And believe me, that's far worse than autism. I can assure you of that. I bet you, you have never been at a gas station and somebody told you to get the hell out of autism. I bet you know, but yet they've told me that to my face. Get the hell out of my country. You're not welcome here. Um, Granted, I was screaming Allah at the time, but, you know, whatever. uh, She said, don't use it as an insult. That's just it. I don't really like it. It's not. Then fucking leave. (laughs) It's not an insult. Jesus, you know, you're, you are actually becoming the problem in society. (laughs) Because it's people like you that go, oh, I take that as an insult. No, it's not. Uh, somebody else says, I'm offended. My daughter has autism. And she used autism and autism. Then leave. I'm curious. It's just, Jesus Christ, what is it? It's like, oh, I'm offended. By what? A word? You're offended by a word. Is that it? What is Sometimes it? What is it? We're just, we're Steve. just, we're not Good allowed to say anything. Listeners. Saying that he looked like a special needs kid in his t-shirt. Okay, they're making fun of Steve. Yes. None of autistic no, kids. No, 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 because... Not of autistic people. Do you look like okay. me? Does your kid look like me? Look, hang on, turn around. <laughs> if your kid looks like me, then the insult still stands. Thank you, Magnum. He says, if you get easily offended, this place is not... I was going to say, this be. is not the show for you. No, it, it's, it's definitely I will not. never, ever pander to people who go, oh, I think that's offensive. I think, oh, my feelings are hurt. You need to toughen the fuck up. The whole reason we're in, we're now living in a world where you can't say anything. Oh, my feelings are hurt. Words hurt. I have never seen anybody killed with a word. Oh, well, apart God. from Bob, I guess. So it's like your, your fire. So, mm-hmm. Allah. So we have more people asking about um, questions. You know, they're saying, what about... Long- Actually, yes, that's a very good point. Mike, uh, thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. No, Lily, he's not the one getting offended here. She was the first one that she's autistic. No, I'm not. Lily, look, here's the point, right? Here's the point, right? People call, people use my Britishness, right, as a way to insult me, right? I don't get offended by it. I don't don't care. It, it, It shouldn't matter. If somebody wants to go, oh, autistic people are whatever, right? What? what? So, uh, actually, um, oh, what's his name? Josh Blue. Right? He's got, um, fuck, what is it? MS. He has multiple sclerosis, yes. right? He jokes about it all the time. Yeah. So He's are you offended with him? Comedian. Are you offended by him doing that? He's got a special on Netflix, actually. No, is it Netflix or Hula? Uh, there's a, there's a special Hula. on his. There's, there's <laughs> a special on his at the moment. I, no, it's not. So, so then the thing is, oh, if somebody has it, then they can actually make fun of it. No, it doesn't mean that at all. No. It's words. It's just words. If you are aff- if you get offended by somebody saying something about what you may or may not have, 
right? That's your problem. It's not the person saying it. Because, and that's where we fail in. Because the moment we have to, as a society, the moment we have to pander to one person's needs, you end up in the situation we are now where I can go, well, I'm offended because you're making fun of British people. Yes, he is. Uh, Lula said you're a Cerebral professional. palsy. Thank you, Mike. Yes, Josh, I actually Somebody saw Somebody called Josh. you a professional ranter. Right. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. I actually really like that. It's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Mike actually said Josh has yeah, cerebral has palsy. Cerebral Thank palsy. you. Thank you, Mike. I, I was wrong on that one. Yeah, he really jokes good. about it all the time. He says it's great because he gets free parking. I mean, you know, I, the guy's embracing it. Yeah, we so, got to see him uh, in person before he was like anything really big. Lily, here's, a, here's the thing. I don't think she's still there. Damn it. <laughs> I was going to say you should go to Vegas. Dress up like Rain Man, right? <laughs> Seriously, you will get to play with millions of dollars because everybody will flock to you. Take whatever you've got, use it to your advantage. Just stand at a table dressed in a very tight suit with your hair gelled back, going, like that. And they'll just be like, oh my God. Yes, words don't hurt you unless you let them. No, they don't. Jesus Christ, I grew up fat (coughs) and a Jehovah's Witness in England. Okay, that is the two worst things you could grow up with. I, my entire oh my life was God. people saying things to me. And my dad told me something. Actually, dad used to say quite a lot of things to me. But my dad told me something really good. And it was exactly that. He was like, no one's ever been killed by an insult. No. Nope. Never happened. No. Nope. Never will. No. Nope. <sighs> okay. There we go. Okay. Any other autistic people want to go? <laughs> you want to dance with me? That would be fun. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, it's wrong. Somebody's like, I love that you have to act that you enjoy the conversation with this dude. You know, I don't know what to do because one minute to the next, I don't know where he's going. I love it, it when so. people try and do insults. <laughs> he's sit here. The insults are great. They're just, it's like somebody actually spent time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say this because everybody's going to heart me when I say this. Okay, so we got Ginkgo is asking long time, boring marriage. What are my options? That's that. He's been okay. asking that. He, okay, he, I, I'm, I'm yeah. going to ask you. Leaving. I'm, I'm go- No, you see, you can't. Here's the thing. When you want a solution to something, right, you can't then put uh, constraints on it. If you have a boring marriage, right, you've got to find out what is boring about your marriage. What is it? Is it because you just sit there and do nothing? Um, is it because she's really bad at sex? Is it because... Yeah, he's looking for options, not a solution. Well, your options is if it's boring, do something about it. Like, actually change something. It, What's boring, boring about, about it? it? Yeah, Lula's like, oh, watch porn together will help. Well, maybe it's not about the actually, sex. Actually, because we don't like, like relationship. that. No. See? But it's like, it might be just the relationship's boring. Maybe she talks about her dieting and nutrition too much. Shut up, Big B. <laughs> yeah, just... Uh, we also have Steve-O saying my wife wants to leave me because her son is an ass... Uh, because his son is an ass to her. And you don't stop it, do you? <laughs> I, look, here's the thing. Right, dude, if your son... Right, here's the thing. I c- Go on. Yeah. Uh, go, we'll go back to Steve in a minute. But he says, managing expectations perhaps while getting over a boring hump. That's what he's trying to do. Ginkgo, the one with the boring marriage. What? He's trying to manage expectations. But what do you want? Look, I'm going to tell you right now, right? I bet you your number one problem and the number one way to actually resolve this is actually going to be talking to her. And you need to kind of not care about what you're going to say. Right? If you're going to turn around and go, hey, honey, I just find, you know, it's like we're kind of really stale. Why don't we yeah. do this? Yeah, somebody's saying try new activities, maybe yeah. speak your mind. Go honestly. to a swing club. Go to a swing club. Just agree not to do anything. Uh, somebody else says doing the same thing all the t- time is boring. We don't even talk anymore, just barely. Right, so. And that's a different person. Oh, okay. okay <laughs> Who's but- got a problem? <laughs> and you guys are all on Periscope. Why? Instead of, like, you know, Listen fixing to relationships. A fat British ex Jehovah's Witness give you Special advice. Special needs kid in a Ghostbusters t shirt. And- For your Wednesday enjoyment. I've got special needs. I'm offended by that. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, somebody's saying maybe include a group, not just the two of you solo. That's not gonna. That's not really like. No, there's not a solution. It's not an option. If your life is boring look, and you you're not happy, it's. It, are you are you kind of in that situation where basically even if you were let's have a look, even if you were watching, well, next year there's the eclipse. Even if you two, there's a full eclipse in North America. It's going to be fucking awesome. It's like exactly a year from now. I know. We should come back for that. (laughs) But even if you were stood there watching it, you two would still be sat there bored. 
if that's the situation, right? Communication's your problem. Mm-hmm. And if you want to solve that, you have got to talk about it. Find that. Look, do you know what? If you want to kick off a, a, a relationship in, in kind of an interesting way, uh, come up with a. Fa- when guys do this, do this very mildly because we all know if we talk about our sexual fantasies, they're way fucking out there. So bring it really down. What? <laughs> Somebody said you're a saint for getting through this. <laughs> Thank I <you>. know. <laughs> okay. So any other questions on like relationship advice, you know, that kind of stuff. That's kind of what I <laughs> opened the Periscope as today. Oh, okay, so sure. So we've had people come through, but it's like they keep asking when we're talking about something else and I can't oh, say anything. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's why it kind of like, pushed it that way because we've been a- i've been oh, asked okay. to like right, that's go fine. That i way. don't see it i don't see the periscope I know so i'm that. just kind of just uh, somebody says tears or spit is best lube uh, tears <laughs> always tears. tears yeah nothing better than making her cry cupping your hands under her eyes and then using it as lube it's always the way to go uh steve's comment says i want to fuck a midget then go do it you can get midget mm-hmm. hookers those are not hard to come by. Vegas is your place for that. Do you know this? That's what, I don't understand why you know this. Do you really want to know why I know this? No, I then don't. Then really don't want. ask those questions. <laughs> oh, I wasn't asking. I was just like, why? It was it's just. It was a rhetorical question. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, nobody wants to know why you know. I know. Okay. Any more? No, no, no. Oh, now they're all oh. quiet. No, they're, see, I, I can't, you know, I, I can't I know. be pleasing you people. I know, I know. It's just, just pointless. So as I was trying to say when I was trying to put the periscope on you because I was doing something. Now, you talked yesterday about the whole conspiracy thing and you were talking about maybe doing your own show. Mm-hmm. Have you gotten any further on a that? Bit. Are you doing anything yeah, with I'm, that? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I made a new show on Speaker. You on did? Spreaker. Okay. They need to change that And what's name. it called? Uh, something you'll probably change uh, afterwards anyway. Uh, shit. I can't it's okay. You don't have to look. It's okay. No, you do. It's Hold okay. on. Oh, so no, are you gonna actually going to go do a conspiracy show I, then? I, I'm thinking about it. You're thinking about it, but you already committed by making a Spreaker page. Yes. Okay. Well, I thought that that would motivate me a bit more. I, I kind of like the idea okay. of doing it. Uh, hold on. I can't remember what Ethan? it's called. I'm sorry, Dave. Ethan, could you get whatever that is? That, yes. That's, that's, that's what it is. It's called I'm sorry, Dave. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a really busy day here. I don't know. Can you just see? Yes. Okay. Ask if she's a citizen. <laughs> I know. I, I do handle him well. I, I, um, yeah, the, the show is called I'm Sorry Dave, okay. which is obviously a, a, akin to... I'm Sorry Dave? Yeah. What does that mean exactly? I'm Sorry Dave. I can't do that. It's from Hal, from 2001. Oh. See? Oh. Wow, Big B already knew yeah. what it was. Wow. Yeah. See? Um, Rock and roll. See, so yes, so that, I am a citizen. Yes, he wasn't asking me. <laughs> uh, Steve was. No, thanks. Oh, what is it for? Uh, I feel lucky. Yeah, I think. Did she know how much was in my wallet? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so some random person just pulled into our driveway, said they got subway coupons and. You're buying. What is it? Them. I'm buying subway you coupons don't even go for to subway. Mount Ararat field hockey. Field hockey. Yeah. I always support lesbians. <laughs> I can't say. Hermione that. played field hockey. I can't say that very loud because the window is open <laughs> and the parent is stood just outside our house. Is that the parent? I didn't. I, I said lesbians. I said I always support lesbians. <laughs> so, so what is this? It's, it's a... What, what is this? It's a Subway coupon book. Oh, does somebody want that? I don't know. She said you were funny, so I told her it's the Jane cool. and Steve show. Check it out. There you go. <laughs> the Jane and Steve show sponsoring <laughs> field hockey. You just called her daughter a lesbian. I didn't call her that. I said I always support lesbians. Right. Therefore... Hey, if you connect those two I'm things, right. I'm just saying there must be a connection. <laughs> I don't think she actually I'm, will I'm look doing, it up. I'm and doing, even if she does get 34 minutes into this episode. Yeah, Sambo has a really good idea. Or I'm, a really I'm, I'm good doing point. this Trump style. I didn't say it. Subway supports yeah. like, you know. Pedophiles. Pedophiles. Yeah. And you just bought a Subway coupon book mm-hmm. worth $65. Well, he, well, well. We don't even go to Subway. I know. That's like, what I said. I'll give it away. I'll mm-hmm. check it in with Miguel. Miguel, you eat, you eat footlongs, right? Maine. 
It's for Maine. Oh, is it? It's for Maine. Oh, damn it. Oh, fucking hell. I was going to say, we don't, even, we don't even go to Subway, like, ever. <laughs> nope. Ever. Like, I know, but... I can't even that's think a, of the that's last what I told you. Honestly, <laughs> if, a like, oh, if a girl ever turns up on my door, I'm just going to give her money. I can't help myself. It's such a whore. I know. Okay. Aside from, like, field hockey playing lesbians, yeah. which I'm sure she was not. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um... I was making two separate statements. Your conspiracy. It was for the so, high school, and right. I also support lesbians. Those okay. were two separate statements. You're the one that put them together. Right. Okay. Oh, hello to Purgatory. He just joined us. Haven't seen you for a while. Um, your so, conspiracy yes, show. show. Yes. You're it's calling I'm it sorry, I'm Dave. Sorry, Dave. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's cool, right? <laughs> I know. It has nothing to do with anything. Because nobody Explain is, is going to understand here. He did it's, while you were at the door. It's from 2001, A Space Odyssey, and the, the computer <laughs> HAL 9000 in it. The classic line is, I'm sorry, Dave. See, it's that. <laughs> and it's very... It's, you haven't seen 2001, have you? I haven't either. You should actually watch that, because you'd probably like it. Because it's kind of a bit trippy, and it's a bit kind of a bit out there. It's a and bit trippy. It is a bit trippy. Okay. So, okay. so yeah. Um, oh, that's what okay. I could do. I could go and get a sub, and uh-huh. then I'll mail it to somebody. <laughs> Big B came up with a really good idea. Just well, he said mail it to him, but I could. I'll get a subway. Well, Steve-O it, went a foot long, ship yeah, a dick thing, so you could just send him a subway foot long and just go. Oops, sorry, wrong box. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm kind of really tempted to do the show. Okay. I'm kind of really tempted. Uh, Rada Man said when Hal said, I'm sorry, Dave, Hal killed Dave eventually, so will this show kill people? Yes. Yes, it's going to be that bad. Actually, Hal didn't <laughs> kill Dave in the end because Dave transcended and became the star child. God, you're so Like I said, you will love this movie. <laughs> so. <sighs> no, it probably hasn't even triggered yet. I, I only built it on speaker. Um, uh, Big B. I don't think it goes no live until like you actually put out your first yeah. like show. Yeah. So, so. it's it's okay. So th- you doing this? Is this like a real thing that well, you're doing I, with Miguel? I I, 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 oh fuck no! I want to do this regularly. I, I don't want to do it. I know. Okay. I do it regularly. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Yeah, because Miguel was going to have a show yesterday, and then he didn't. Yeah. In all fairness, he got called into work after we promoted his show. I know. And then he just he lets us down. Didn't. And then he gets pissy when we don't. We don't. I know. It's terrible. Somebody said they reckon you would make an awesome cyborg. Yeah, I'd have a huge robot dick. Jeez. I am Borg. Come feel me. (laughs) Tickle my Borgs. (laughs) 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 Wow. Um. I, I, in, a, in a total ADD way, uh-huh. uh, we got people going back um, oh, cool. onto the questions. Uh, they Excellent. said, "Okay, how do you like hit on a girl? Mm-hmm. Not hit her, hit oh, on a girl. I'm out. Like you know, like actually make like the first move. Can you do that if it's not like an organic? You can see like both people have a have a thing. What? They want to know. Can you like Sorry, actually I just like? Again. What's I'm the really best bothered. way to go up to a girl? <laughs> Jesus, I really Christ. did tune out. Holy shit! I know you do that a lot on this show, and it's because you have fucking sprinkler open. Do. And when you have that, and well, it's are Marcus talking, and Bigby are normally quite funny. I know. I find that I find them amusing. So, <laughs> That's okay, a good answer, Ginko. He answered because he was fucking Thanks, paying Ginko. attention. Thank it's you the Ginko and much. Jane's show today yeah uh-huh. um uh, and somebody said 2001 is like donkey dick that was uh-huh. purgatory um okay so the question is how do you like approach a woman when you're not sure if there's like a mutual attraction hidden camera now ginko's comment was oh. just go up to her and go would you like a drink or do you just want the money <laughs> <laughs> i really like i really that's like that's really good i like that's that really, i think really that would good. even be like a lick lolly approved the, look, the, the thing with girls, right, speaking with the guy who's got no game at all, right, yes. when you go up to speak to her, you've got to, A, you've got to speak to her, you've got to give her, an, you've got to, you can't entrap her. That's the problem guys have. <laughs> you've had experience with yeah. that since you said that word, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you can't, you can't go, it's, it's true though, it's, if you go up to a girl, you've got to give her a way out, know that you're closing this down already mm-hmm. to like just move on. You know, if you're in a social environment, you can see her more than once, mm-hmm. then give her an out, and then you can hit her up again 
like later on that night. So you just want to just go, mm. hey, you know, just stop and just go. Uh, they said, what if you don't speak the same language? Oh, get your dick out. <laughs> International language of love, that is. Get your cock is out. It? Yep, it is. Dude, this Google Translate. You could literally speak in there. I'd like to see your pussy. And it'll translate it. One thing to know, no, Harry Paul. See? That's, no, I, I, that's exactly right. It is. <laughs> well, I don't know what he said, but it's right. Yeah, see? Okay. Just go, I sorry, no, speak English. Look at that. <laughs> I'm Miko Saki Saki now. <sighs> no, I haven't called Chip a Dick yet, Big B. Why are you calling Chip a Dick? Oh, they have a phone number. They released one today. You can release it. They've released a they've phone released, number. Wow. They've released a phone number. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'll probably I'll call that on the show tomorrow. Okay. You're calling Chip a Dick tomorrow? Yeah. And you're doing what exactly? Well, I think you can leave a message for them. And they said entertaining ones will be posted and they'll also be rewarded. Well, I'm all about free shit. You already got a bunch of free shit. I know. I'm mean, granted we're giving it away, but yeah, we are. But yeah, so we got Big B's address. He won. Mm-hmm. So, yes, he did. so how is your thing? So basically, if you guys would like to win a dick, I don't have a dick here. Go to the Jane and Steve Show page on. on Facebook, or no, actually, go to roosterfm. dot com, and. Uh, So you go to go to roosterfm dot com and you can answer questions, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> go to rooster go to roosterfm dot com and on the front page you'll actually see Shipper Dick. If you click yes. that, it takes you to our little competition. Magnum is did not hear about this, but yes, we got sponsored by Shipper Dick. He was mm-hmm. just wondering if you actually did. So mm-hmm. like Big B won this yesterday. He got a selfie mirror dick. Big B, we you will could, be sticking other stuff in as well. Yes, we will. Um, you can get Shipper Dick socks. You could win those. Mm-hmm. You could win a Shipper Dick crown, which is actually just kind of cool. Or, and I think with the current... Yeah, the current the competition. Current competition on roosterfm.com. Everybody's like, what the mm-hmm. fuck is that? It's for a bag of dicks. And yes, there's and really like. There's literally of- hundreds of little cardboard dicks yep. in there. It Lots is the best thing ever. Yep. I and love we will that. mail it directly to you, just like this. No, we won't. We'll actually put it in a box because I'm going to stick other stuff in it as well. Oh, but this is like really cool. I know, you just but. Get that in the mail. No. Okay. Really? The postal service trying to deliver that? Can you get mm-hmm. any idea of how that'll turn up? <laughs> But it's great. You should but ask yes. them, Mike. So you guys need to make sure to go to Rooster FM, play the contest. Roosterfm.com. Mm-hmm. You'll see this. St- you'll see the the logo. It says Shipper Dick. Just click that. That's our competition. It's quite easy, and the competition's really easy. All you've basically got to do is tweet about the giveaway, follow me, follow Jane, and follow Shipper Dick, and that gives you one, two, three, four, possibly five entries into the uh, <laughs> into the pool. Sambo says, "Great." Christmas gift for grandma. It is. It's perfect. Yeah, it she is. will love these socks because they are really soft, Ethan, right? Soft, yeah, they're actually keep your very feet comfortable. Warm, very comfortable. Grandma will love these and they're pink and blue. She'll just think they're like something about like a baby or something. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> grandma won't be able to figure that out no. as a dick. No. It, Unless she's yeah, a cool she, grandma and then she'll go, ah, I got penis socks for Christmas. <laughs> Somebody's like, old ladies love it. Yeah, they do. <laughs> And we also have really big cardboard dicks we'll be giving away as well. But right mm-hmm. now, uh, yes, yeah, Sambo, they're like diabetic socks, yes. Um, they just don't have the little, like, well, you grippy get one... bits on the bottom. Oh, actually, no, <laughs> thinking about it, hang on. No, sorry, I'm going to... Okay, if you tweet about the giveaway, you get three entries. If you follow me on Twitter, you get two entries. Follow Jane, you get one entry, because she doesn't need the followers. Ship a dick, you get one entry because I'm trying to make this more about me. And you can enter it every day. It's not just once. Every day you can enter this. Seriously? You only give me for one follower? Like, they follow me. It's only, like, worth one? Yeah. (sighs) Yep. Wow. I know, right? Cool. So, yeah, go do it. Jesus. I mean, it's... Hand me me, me that dick. Okay, hold on. (laughs) You got it. There you go. Okay, so this is one of the other ones. See, look how big they are. They're, like, awesome. Somebody was asking, are they big or small? Oh, they're big. They're big. They're big. This was, this was a... Yeah, he was like, oh, my. Yeah, huh? Yes. Yes, Magnum Steve is very excited about the dicks. Yes, I am. So, oh, and we also have, like, ship dick pens. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ship-a-dick and we pens. have tattoos. Yep. Did How's you your wash? tattoo Did doing? you wash? 
It's still it's still on. on. Excellent. Wow. These okay. These shipper dick tattoos are actually yeah, really awesome. really good because they go. stay on a Shipper-Dick long time. Tattoos. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're on. What, and we got stickers. Three. Two, three. Yeah, I was gonna say this is day three, mm. isn't it? I know he's got a shipper dick thing on his on his he's got laptop. Got shipper dick yeah, sticker. Mm-hmm. Stick on my laptop. Yeah, yeah. We got we got shipper dicks for everything for like your your we got like cubicles. Yes. Yeah. At the work, felt they're ones. like they're like felt, so they'll stick to your cubicles at work. So if you work at like a really cool place, you could possibly win that. Yeah, Big B. Let me know that you definitely can do it for a second day as well, because I think I set it that way. If not, I'll change it immediately so it can. Okay. Yes. Hello to Mr. Helicopter who just joined us as well. Yes, you can also use the the felt ship a dick on your cubicle if you'd like a career change. That's a very good point, Ginkgo. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. <laughs> lose your job immediately if you don't like that coworker. Just stick a dick on their actually, cubicle. Actually, actually, you what can't. What are they going to say? No, because you could claim it's a religious icon, and they can't fire you for putting religious icons up. They couldn't fire you. Well, they tell you to take it down. Well, they can't. That would be that would be in, in encroaching on your religious freedom. Ah, uh, America. <laughs> Yes, Ginko says I worship the D. So Don't worry, Marcus, so we'll works. send you It works. We'll send you some stickers and shit. Stickers We're actually hanging on shit. until it's mm-hmm. Steph's birthday and we'll send Oh, we have a very special one for Yes, Steph. we have a special like one an for Steph. Extra special one it for is. Steph. It is. Yeah. Does she have cubicles at work? <laughs> 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 yes. Um So yeah, so make sure to go to roosterfm.com. I think there is a Jesus stick new- actually. Uh, listeners, um, yes. right now, listen. Um, make sure to follow me on Periscope Yeah, and if you well, want to so buy one from up. there, JS Love Dick is a coupon code that you can get 20% off. Yeah, which is really, really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, we have all kinds of dicks. Just tons. Just laying around Just dicks everywhere. Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. It's like a normal day for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, my Instagram is Secret Agent Jane, and that's my Twitter as well. So mm-hmm. you know those. Does that link to them on yes. the on the giveaway? Yes, yeah, yeah, so yeah, it links basically. to them. But yeah, my um, you can catch me on Instagram um, or Twitter as Secret Agent Jane. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to. And Steve is at Steve Does Radio on Twitter. Yep. And Viking Disco Stick on Instagram. Mm-hmm. So make sure yeah. to. Make sure to follow all that. Yeah. Okay, so do we have any final questions, I guess, today? is That's what I want to know. It, it, Bigby says I won't let him do it. It won't. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Hang on, then. Hang on. Try the tweet and a message. See if that allows you to do it, Bigby. I think. <laughs> um, yes. M- Marcus says she does have cubicles at work. All right. That's fantastic. Um, somebody asked a uh, relationship question, but it was actually about us. They said, how did you first hit on me? Uh, well, it was different for me because I didn't really hit on you. I kind photoshopping of, his picture. I, I, <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, Trying that's Marcus. Smooth. That's a really good idea. Fuck it, I'm gonna add that right now. <laughs> okay, do it after the show. What? Be part of the conversation. No! You are like worse oh, than Oh my god. Oh. Duh, what? <laughs> what? Oh, now I can't spell. I put chin a Yes, we were on a dating site, so he didn't exactly like really hit on me. No. There wasn't really any of that. So. No, I, bas- I I entered it exactly what I wanted from a woman, and I got three results yeah, no in America. Shit. And the top one was her. So I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so that worked. I know, I know. I can't rope him in. There's, like, actually no way. When he what? gets like this, there's I nothing I can it. do. There is nothing I can do. There's nothing anyone can do. Mm-mm. You have to write well, the way he about. sounds like Elliot from Mr. Robot sometimes. Yeah, he, he has does. that completely monotone, really. Yeah, oh, he has God. like the same pitch. Yeah, voice he does. As well. yeah, yeah, you're at the same pitch as Mr. Robot. I should give you some Mr. Robot scripts that you could read, and I think it would be, you know, is that Rami Malek? Rami. Him? Yeah. Rami Noodles? <laughs> you can cook. Yes, I'm married. No, house. I don't wear a ring. No. My ring broke. It got actually. stuck up my ass. Oh, no, I didn't. It did. I shit diamonds nowadays. Well, flakes of them. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah. Uh, uh, see, I find wedding rings actually weird. I have a wedding ring on. I have yeah, my wedding I, I just, ring on. I just don't have my engagement I don't, ring on. I, I, don't, I, I, I don't know. To me, it's like, it's a weird thing. It's like, look, I'm, I'm a possession of somebody else. I'm yeah. owned by somebody else. I, I, I really don't like that well, idea. Well, I think from a girl's point of honestly, view, Because honestly, I'm always open to better offers. 
Fuck you too. Now, I think for girls, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, I have a better guy than you because my ring's more kick-ass than yours. So I think it's kind of just like, you know, a bragging right. Yeah, when I bought her ring, when I got her a ring, it was very small and droopy. So she was kind of embarrassed to show it to anybody. Who, me? Yeah. I wore it all the time. No. I, okay. Okay. Yeah. The point. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Move on. That's fine. Right. <laughs> Moving on. Um, Magnum keeps asking, is the Vodka Girl site down for maintenance? It no, is the Vodka Girl down. site is down... Uh, what, what? How's the word you use? Not permanently, but no. it's down for the foreseeable future. Yes, we kind of uh, the problem with the, the problem with the vodka mm-hmm. girls site is we kind of uh, we we <laughs> we don't have access to girls anymore. So <laughs> wow. it's, I don't know how else to word this. You know, so well maybe you? have an in with the Mount Ararat field hockey team. Okay, they're like fifteen. But yeah, okay, we could do that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I wouldn't put sponsored it past by, you. Sponsored by Subway. <laughs> Eat fresh, oh, like real fresh. Fuck. See, like that. Um, I, yeah, I, yeah so. I do keep in contact with a lot of the girls, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, mm. I, I know several of them that are on like their first or second or third vodka baby from mm-hmm. the other guys they met while in Vodka Girls, yeah. whether they were actually like fans or actually vodka guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm friends with a lot of them, actually. I talked yeah. to them. I, uh, what, yeah, one some of the vodka girls second. had some babies with fans. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We've had how many marriages? We've had three, no, four marriages. We've had five marriages. Five marriages. Five marriages. Five. Five. One is like they're just like they're just they're like been together. They're not yeah, permanently together. Living. Yeah, they're, they've been together since like probably like, like the, the first second, second month in. Yeah, yeah, they've been together since then. Um, Jesus. Yeah. yeah, and they have two kids. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there's like a lot. But yes, some do have some with fans. No, they're not with the fans Jesus. anymore. But they are. Start a porn site. That's the best dating site you could ever. Oh ask yeah, for, yeah, 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 yeah. Because a lot of the girls were kind of like, yeah, I'm totally cool to like date any of the fans. Because we did we did a whole you kind know. of debrief with with any girl that came on the site, going, look, you need to understand what can actually potentially mm-hmm. happen because you can get stalkers, you can get. So don't give out personal information. And so most of the girls on there were idiots and gave out not only their personal information but their phone yeah. numbers and everything else. Like all security of them numbers. Did that. Yeah. 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 So, but uh, yeah, a lot of them dated, mm-hmm. and so yeah, a lot of them dated. A lot of them married other vodka guys. They've had kids. They're still together. There is not a single divorce. No. Not a single breakup from anybody. And that was like, we're what, nearly five years? Yeah, we're going on into five years. We're going with some into of them. five years now. So here's my point. Yeah. Another couple yeah, years, I'm summer. actually I'm actually going to turn the vodka girls into a dating site because we have better <laughs> success than than match eHarmony or anything else because <laughs> ours actually last longer consistently yeah. yeah i'd say most of them have actually Porn, been it'll keep you together to, to, since the beginning but do you know do you know why i think they actually work and i'm being completely you know not joking around mm-hmm. right but it is kind of a bit to do with porn but the people that you know when you're involved with vodka girls and and, and stuff you you openly talk about your sex life you openly talk about things that most married couples don't talk about i actually don't think based on how many kids most of them have i don't think they talk much no, I know, but that, no, but that's the point. The point is, is that there's no taboo subjects. There's not like, you know, I, I, it's, I don't know. It's, it's the thing that doing this show, we've come across this so many times that couples just don't talk. Mm-hmm. They, they're not open enough no, with not. each other. Yeah, Magnum says people aren't conservative like the dating sites. Yeah, yeah, and and that's the thing. You know, with everybody involved with the Vulcan mm-hmm. Girls thing, you, you're not really conservative minded when you're on there. Mm-hmm. And the chances are, then, so any problems get aired immediately, mm-hmm. and you can talk through it. And and solve it with sex, from what it seems like. Yeah, so we have like, there's like twelve or fifteen vodka babies. Yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Holy yeah. Shit. It's fucking like awesome, right? Without me, yeah. like sitting here counting. Yeah. yeah, there's that many. So yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So that's because of us. That's I because know. that's because we were like, yeah, let's do this. Oh, we have lots of people that we know, including some like Ian that comes on here yeah. occasionally. Yeah, they're all tattooed with like vodka girls stuff yeah. and the yeah. logos, and the logos and everything. stuff. And it's, and it's cool. We've we've Whatever. got a lot of long term friends mm-hmm. out of that. Yeah. So you know, so like I said, you know, so for now, yeah, we've kind of we've kind of drawn the curtains on vodka girls for now because it just doesn't we it, it doesn't time. fit with it, what we're yeah. doing uh, we don't have problem. time and doesn't fit with what we're no. doing and what we're trying believe to focus believe me on. you guys do not want us doing a main chapter of vodka girls that's really <laughs> what this comes down to you don't want to see the stuff up here naked would, th- this website would have to be changed to like gilfs anonymous oh god yeah 
Vodka girls. <laughs> vodka girls. Okay. Sloppy. We actually had people asking for that kind of stuff. They're just yeah. like, are you going to have like an extra site for like, you know, gilfs and mm-hmm. stuff like that? I'm like, yeah, no. No. But it thanks, was, no. We we actually, uh, we seriously considered actually doing, what did we? Well, that's why I was trying to watch market. the old videos. He's like, damn it. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> Alternative gilfs. N- no, it's actually a really big market. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's it's a really big we market. We seriously considered it's... doing Vodka Pure, which was actually going to focus on women with, with no tattoos, no piercings, no nothing. Never cut, change the hair color. Yeah. Just, just completely. Like, totally like virginized okay, so type of regular thing. porn. No, no, no not no. regular porn. Not now. No. The, Jesus. No, it, it was going to be very. Mm-hmm. Girl next door. Very, no tats, no yeah. nothing, very much because, like that. Because, like, with the whole vodka girls thing, it was just, like, they were very different girls. They they were girls that would look exactly the same when you met them out in the street. That's that was exactly the, what they looked yeah, like on yeah, the site. that was always the drive with vodka girls. Yeah. They usually have clothes on on the street. No, not yeah. always. No, not <laughs> no, always. No, 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 very you, little sometimes, uh, yes. A lot of them would dress I've kind seen of cool. squirt at Whataburger in, yeah. in in Grapevine in like Uggs and a bikini. Yeah. And she's like, I'm just going through the drive-thru though, so yeah. it doesn't matter. <laughs> so so no clothing yeah. was optional. But you know That was always the drive of that, of just we wanted the real But like people. most porn stars, you will not recognize oh, them out no. and about no. because they have so much makeup on, their mm. hair is totally done a different way than they normally do. You and they dress in like the big baggy sweatpants and you know, they try and not stand out. Mm-hmm. Whereas the whole idea of vodka girls is just taking regular girls and mm-hmm. filming them. Yep. <laughs> Sounds so pervy when I say it. Like yep, that. <laughs> that's what you did though. But yeah. So yeah, that was always a, a thing. So So yeah, sorry Magnum. Vodka, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so vodka, you know, sort of, yeah. And I, I, I do think... I don't think Ethan knows about any of them really, Magnum. He was wondering if Ethan wanted to pick out a vodka girl. No, I, I think mm-hmm. you met Squirt, didn't you? I think I met Squirt and mm-hmm. then one other one. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You met Galaxy. Redhead? Yes. 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 Tiny redhead? Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, Is, uh, so, any rate. Just leave it. I'll get it after. <coughs> That's fine. You can no, do no, it now. No, I'll get it afterwards. Okay. All right. So, uh, any rate, that, yes. So, I think, I think the, you know, the, the advice... Pretty much all relationship shows, all relationship advice could be summed up with one thing. Talk. Talk about it. Because mm-hmm. if you talk about it, you'll find out whether or not, you know, I mean, for people going, oh, I'm in this totally boring marriage and, you know, nothing's happening. You guys need to talk about it and figure out why you do, wh- wh- why is it, maybe she feels the same way. Have you ever thought about that? She's probably like, I am so fucking bored. And then you guys end up cheating on each other because you're so bored and you realize that what you wanted at the end of the day was you both to actually just do something together. Yeah, we have a new listener. He's like, you know, so what's your show about? I'm a new listener here. Uh, Yesterday uh, we talked about conspiracy theory and aliens. Today today we're talking about uh, dating porn stars. Sex and Steve has like Um, massive ADD. Yes, I do today. It's bad. This is probably the most offensive periscope you will ever listen to. Mm -hmm. Watch. Mm-hmm. But the Jane and Steve show, which is on speaker, it's on iTunes, and you can go to roosterfm.com, mm-hmm. and we're on there. And it is pretty much, if you get offended, don't bother listening. If you're a Jesus yeah. freak, tune in, because I'll rape your ears all day long, <laughs> and I won't use any lube. I will dry rape your ears. Ouch. It's funny, I used to do pedophile jokes, I used to do rape jokes, I used to do, I don't do that anymore. Nope, you don't. Nope, you're really boring. Really? <laughs> I think you two need to do something together before you cheat on each other. <laughs> when all you wanted to do was do something different. Yeah. See, so we... we, we, we what? Yes, we have kids. Ginkgo, the one that was just talking, uh-huh. is my oldest. Yeah. Ethan? Yes. yes. He's scarred for life. Yes. So we, we, have, to, we have to keep him yes. at the house currently until his therapy is completed. Then we can release him to the world. Straight jackets are actually surprisingly comfy. That's right. Yeah, he says, well, that's just too close to home. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Marcus actually made the, made the point. Oh, the other vodka thing we were going to do was with Marcus. Sorry? The other vodka thing that we were going to do, we were going to do a spin-off site with Marcus, inverted commas. Oh, the other Marcus, yes. yes. Not Marcus that you just talked Randomly to. Randomly picking up women. Mm-hmm. It was going to be like a dual how to pick up women anyway because he was brilliant at picking girls up because he would just he had all the confidence in the world so he'd just go and do it so we were like oh we'd do that and then 
shoot porn with it and it you know mm-hmm. creates this unrealistic fantasy that but he decided to get, get married and now he hates his life mm-hmm. so well not hate his life but you know <laughs> he gets no sex um or boring sex yeah but she keeps tempting him mm-hmm. oh I think I'm gonna maybe go maybe we can by. go to a swing club maybe I'll mm-hmm. be by that's it uh-huh. but let's go to Disneyland instead mm-hmm. uh, alright you into mices meese mice mice meese meeses so anyway um, holy shit. Uh, where did we <laughs> go today? Like, it all over the place. I know. It's been a difficult uh, show. Somebody said that they're coming in today. They said they would totally watch the conspiracy show too, by the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm really kind of tempted. It's not mm-hmm. really conspiracy. That's a bit misleading because it's, it's really not. I'm not going to deal with like just bullshit conspiracies because uh, just whatever. Just He's going to do hardcore science geeky no. shit for about a no, week we're and gonna, then we're gonna don't ponder. have anything to say so it doesn't, we, doesn't show up. No, we're going to ponder the future. Ooh, that's a good subtitle. Ponder in the future. I'm sorry, Dave. Let's ponder the future. I'm sorry, Dave. I don't think that's very interesting. Oh, hang on, I'm not close enough for that. No, I can't do that. <laughs> so. Oh, God. I, I, I was actually on about Marcus in inverted commas, Marcus. Not not you, Marcus. Mm-hmm. But so. And yes, and that's why we're not using you, because you would be very disappointed. <laughs> that's not nice. I know, but it's truthful. Okay. All right. So make sure you guys go to roosterfm.com, play the Ship and Dick game. You can win this bag of dicks along with a lot of other goodies. Who's Nicole Simpson? Possibly this. What? That's OJ. This girl that oh. got killed. No, his son did it. Cool socks. Yeah. Yep. So make sure to go do that. Oh, today. I'm sorry. You were doing stuff. Yeah, I go was actually. Roosterfm.com. <laughs> Right? There's a ship a dick image on there. Click on that. That it, it basically it gives you X amount of entries for each thing you do and it's kinda cool. And you can do it every twenty four hours apparently. So get on and do that. Because right now, from what I can see, only one person's gonna win that. I'm very disappointed with the take up on this. Really disappointed. He'd just like that, Kiko. What? <sighs> he said slap him, you're the boss. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, so yeah. Um, right. I'm going to go take um, Mr. Uh, ADD. Yeah, hello. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm struggling the, today. I noticed. I noticed that when you were downstairs this morning don't, trying to figure out how to make coffee. Don't mention autism. I did, but I think I got away with it. <laughs> That's a little bit slow. You're welcome, Ginko. Make sure to follow me on here because we do the show Monday through Friday at Jane and Steve's show. Again, go to Rooster FM. Go to Facebook. Like our Facebook page, The Jane and Steve Show. Mm-hmm. We should make it like The Jane and Steve Show. And Ethan. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, like, basically. No, I don't want to be a part of this. <laughs> I get off on being left out of things. Oh, okay. Well, Good, because that will like that continue then. to happen. <laughs> all right. Just so we're clear. Uh, Bigby says he's going to win on all the dick. Yes, he so is. you guys. If you guys want to win dicks, yes. you yeah, know It's what really do. easy to Rooster do. Roosterfm.com. I, do you know what, actually? No, sorry, I'm oh. stopping this. I am so... F- oh. Us, our listeners are the laziest fucking bunch I've ever come across. It's like, because let's face it, it the people that come into this room, right, they get a notification on their phone, so they don't even have to think. It just appears for them, right? And then we say, what you have to do is go on your browser and go to Rooster FM and just click two things, and you can win a bunch of dicks. And they're like, oh, yeah, but that's just... Oh, well, maybe they don't want to like tweet effort. that out. Oh, whatever. I've seen your Twitter feed, you <laughs> dirty horse. Penwa says, "Fuck you, Steve." I, well, you know, I would allow you to do that, but I don't think you've got the With effort this to do glass it. Dildo. I don't think you could do it. You'd be, oh, it's I was mirror. gonna, I mirror. was gonna fuck Steve. I was gonna fuck Steve, but it's, oh, it's just too much effort. And it's not. I'm really slack back there. It'd be dead easy. Fucking hell. I know, Big B. Oh. I appreciate you're always here early. I appreciate you, but yes. the rest of you. The rest was of here you. early too. Marcus hadn't even entered the fucking contest. Maybe he doesn't want a dick. Yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. Marcus always needs dick. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, I've been trying. Don't to. follow the Jane and Steve because that would be far too much fucking effort for all you people. Go do it and prove him wrong. Go live your couch They're potato lives. Okay, because it's different from you. Fuck it out. Hey, I fucking walked yesterday, so fuck everyone. Over there, everyone. <laughs> Are you going to go walking today again? Bye, Felicia. Are we going to play tennis? Yeah, we'll play tennis today. Oh, no, it's fucking 80 degrees. Yeah, all right. 
Maybe. Oh my God. I don't know. Yeah, probably I will do. I gotta have something to eat first. All right, let's go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>